<coughs> good morning students so today we will start properties related to margins and padding so as you can see here I have written coat of the day and background is of uh, yellow color normally if you give uh, body background color entire page will become uh, of that particular color so here you can see it's only white color but uh, if you want to apply color only to that particular area suppose this coat of the day you want to apply this yellow color or when you write a paragraph you want to apply a particular color for that what you have to use you have to use uh, margins okay so here you can see first thing body margin top 100 pixel margin bottom 19 pixel margin left 40 pixel and margin right 8 pixel 80 pixel okay so uh, what are these top margin top margin means how much space is left from top till here so here 100 pixels is left so if I change this portion suppose uh, instead of 100 pixel I write here 40 pixel and then refresh first see this space this is 100 pixel if I refresh it the spaces become less this is only 40 pixel uh, instead of 40 if I give only 3 pixel and refresh it see only 3 pixels is left so if you include it uh, 300 pixel and then refresh it see this much it is 300 pixel so this is known as a top pixel and this side it is uh, left this side it is right and from here it is bottom bottom margin okay so that's body uh, margins now for h1 as you can see code of the day i have written in h1 so let's see the code first okay so h1 i have written code of the day <coughs> so code of the day is written inside h1 and in h1 i have given background yellow padding 20 pixel 20 pixel 20 pixel and 80 pixel so this is like top bottom left and right you can change this portion even here you can write uh, top padding then uh, left padding right padding uh, sorry padding left padding right padding top and padding, padding bottom but since you if means if you want to include order of four then simply padding you write and include all the four directions means four uh, direction that is top bottom left and right so background color yellow padding 20 20 20 and 80 so as you can see 20 20 20 and this side it is 80 let's see what will happen if i include here 20 only 20 save it and then refresh it so actually uh, the space means from this side they have come to the left side so padding is space how much space is uh, left from all the side if you want to increase you can increase it like 200 200 200 and 200 then refresh it see so this side 200 pixel 200 pixel 200 200 so everywhere you will get 200 pixel this area uh, appears uh, more than 200 pixel because quote of the day is very uh, means it's a small text if you add a bigger text then let's see what will happen okay bigger text double let's see so even this space it will appear so i hope uh, by seeing it practically you have understood what is happening here now it is clear 20 20 20 and this side also 20 so 20 pixels uh, everywhere that, sorry that is 200 pixel all the same so in the same way in paragraph background I have given orange but only left padding is given that is 120 pixel so there is no top padding no bottom padding no right padding only left padding that is 120 but if I add here uh, control C control V top if you add top padding now you will see there is some space above <coughs> this paragraph okay so I hope this portion is clear so uh, what you can do here you can include background and also you can include padding this portion is done next 
let's see let me close everything from here okay now properties related to border so you can apply border like in a table you can apply border width then border color I will open with CSS so that I can show how many other means what are the other options that are available first see, let's uh, see the output <coughs> this is the border uh, that is a table okay so border with here I have written thick so instead of thick what are the options you get are medium thin and thick it's up to you which one you want to use I have uh, selected thick and also you can give pixel suppose you want to give 90 pixel let's see what will happen there is no change so in table border <coughs> so you cannot give 90 pixels so you can give only medium thin and thick okay and the change is so less that it is not that properly visible so you take thick refresh it <coughs> So uh, then border color is given gold but this is not properly visible why it is not properly visible because border style let me remove the border style from here now let me move, remove other thing also now let's see if we can see the border color yes now see that yellow color is visible so if uh, all the properties are selected so it was not properly uh, visible now let me make it more bigger okay so this is how the border appear okay border color is gold I have selected gold here then border table and height I have already given in the HTML program now in this table if you want to give border width <coughs> border border width wide now let's see if I give thick what will appear now okay so this you can see the border is thick and if I change it to medium then see this is medium and if I select thin then this is thin I hope it is clear then border color I have already shown you border color you can select it border color uh, in CSS uh, there is in Dreamweaver you can select the color okay so, but if you want you can write also that is yellow refresh it so the border color is yellow what else you can add in now you can add border style so there are different style dashed dotted double group hidden inherit inset you can also give non then outset rigid then solid is also there so if, you, if I select dashed so it will appear like this dash then if I select dotted then dot will appear <coughs> then if you want to give double groove let's say groove how it will appear this is how groove appear so one by one you try all the uh, types so you can pause the video and write the different type of border style dash dotted double group hidden inherit inset none outset rigid and solid so last time let's see how the solid appear so this is only a little difference okay so these are the different uh, border style you can combine everything i have shown it one by one because else it was not properly visible now uh, in CSS the last thing that is given in CSS is the limitation of CSS you listen it and then you write it down that um, 
limitation of CSS is it is not same across different browser that is in CSS it is very limited in browser compatibility when you design a web page you want it to display exactly you like it you want it to appear same way in every browser but in uh, CSS uh, the problem is that with different browser it appears differently uh, <clears throat> nowadays almost all browsers in uh, all browsers you will see same but if your browser is uh, outdated if it is some old version of uh, browser then either the uh, CSS part will not be supported or even if it is supported the way you want it to appear it will not appear that is first limitation that is not same across different browser point number two is can easily be overridden <coughs> that is in uh, if CSS is written and uh, if since it is a text based simply simple like this it's a text based simple text are there so anyone can read and write access to the website so if you upload this CSS file in a website who have access to the uh, website or who have access to the server they can easily change it and by changing that CSS entire look of that website will be changed so that is one limitation of CSS that it can be easily overridden okay so these are the two point point number one not same across different browser point number two can be can easily be overridden okay so uh, here CSS part is over uh, if you have any doubt in CSS <coughs> you can ask me I'll send you some question uh, so till then you see whatever if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you